Hello. Um, I'd like to talk for just a minute about reality creation. I know a lot of you are um, out there listening to a lot of videos about uh, what's happening in 2012, what's happening on the planet right now. <laughs> I'm one of them. Uh, however, there are a lot of ideas out there that I can see are um, confusing many people. And whether or not this is deliberate or not, who knows? <laughs> uh, mostly what I get right now is it's just fun. Um, and so um, the one that comes to mind right now, just because I ran across it yesterday, is, is George Kavasilis. Some of you may be listening to his material. And um, what would I relate to you about this? Um, two things. I would relay two things. And um, they are simple, down-to-earth um, points, ways of, of looking at what's happening here. Um, they're important, they're essential, they're core ideas behind everything that's happening. And um, when you can see the core principle, when you can see the core idea, you have perfectly, purely clear vision. You can see everything. You can hear the truth uh, within that certain parameter, within everything. And so there's two things I would relate to you. The first one is um, about consciousness and experience. And so, for example, when your consciousness is in the fourth dimension, um, in the dimension of time, the experience you have is in 3D, in the third dimension. And so, um, th think of a movie set and the men and women on the movie set that are filming and making the movie. The men and women that are there, um, they are three-dimensional. But when you go to view the movie, you view the movie on a flat two-dimensional screen. And so it's actually the 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 event is actually occurring <laughs> in um, one dimensional parameter and it's being experienced or viewed in another and so right now uh, as we are choosing to ascend our consciousness we are choosing to ascend our consciousness from the fourth dimension, from the dimension of time, to the fifth dimension, which is outside of time. And as we do that, we will, our experience will change slightly. It will change from a third dimensional experience to a fourth dimensional experience. And this is really fascinating if you stop to think about it for a moment because our consciousness is resting outside of time while, we ex have, while we're having an experience still inside time. <laughs> and so it's a, um, it's a really fascinating and interesting experience uh, to be going through right now. And so um, that, that's the first point. And that might not make sense to you yet, but as I continue, <laughs> hopefully that, that will begin to fit in. Okay, the second thing is that um, there is no set, fixed, empiric reality. Um, reality is reality creation. Your reality is your reality creation. Only you can create your own reality. And so uh, I know George and a lot of others are out there talking about the, the different factions of beings and uh, what they're up to and whether or not they're good or bad. But essentially, if you'll look at it from this perspective with these two points in mind, you'll see that what he's talking about 
is a four slash three dimensional paradigm. And what myself and what some others will point out to you is that right now, uh, we're heading out of that paradigm. It's still a choice. You can choose to stay in that paradigm and get all involved with all that um, um, drama. <laughs> or you can uh, take yourself completely out of it. Take yourself outside of time altogether. Okay. Um, Now, this is not to dismiss our, um, our collective agreement to come here and experience ourselves in the 4 slash 3D paradigm and um, gain this experience and have our growth opportunities. Um, but there's two things I would point out in this. The first of which is that um, only a portion of your experience here has to do with the collective agreement um, to come here. The rest of it has to do with your individual experience. And that leads into the second point, your individual experience of the way you choose this paradigm, what you will do here, what you will experience, what you will grow from, is completely up to you. You get to choose all of it. Um, a lot of you are having the out-of-body experiences and, and the lucid dreaming and the astral projection. And even if you're not, you're going to sleep at night and you're waking up in the morning, which as you wake up, the same general thing will happen here. Um, if, you were, if you were coming conscious just a little sooner than you are right now, um, what you would find is yourself bathed in source. That's it. Yourself bathed in source. And source is touching you. Source is insinuating itself to you. Um, uh, letting you know source is here. Um, and you may be able, uh, you may start to hear a sound, the sound of source. And your mind says, what is that? And it, and it comes up with what that could be. And as your mind comes up with what that could be, you begin to see a picture, or you may see many pictures. You choose one and you step into it. And that's exactly how all of this works. So people can talk about all the factions and the good and bad and what's going on to their heart's content. But if you focus and if you stay centered, you will know that you get to choose. You are choosing what comes next. You are feeling a source. You are hearing sounds. You are seeing pictures. You are smelling scents, etc. And coming up with what that could be and moving into that. That's simply all that we're doing. Okay, I'm going to keep this brief. If you'd like me to go into this any further, I'd be happy to. I'd also love to hear from you about the way it's playing out for you, your perspective, the way you're seeing this yourself. Okay, namaste.